Science and technology drew quite a crowd at the recent Boston Regional First Robotics Competition. Massachusetts high school students competed against each other using their entirely homemade robots. In this year's competition, robots must circle a track and gain points by completing different tasks. Teams get a different number of points by just running laps, more points by lapping the track with a ball, more for throwing the ball over the overpass, and the most for balancing the ball on the overpass before the final whistle. Four high schools compete at a time with a pair as red and a pair as blue. I do this program because it is somewhere that I can learn things I've never learned and I can take it further than high school and into my college career. Katie and her teammates created the robot here that is balancing the ball on the course's overpass. They won their Friday afternoon match. All teams are assigned mentors, oftentimes engineers who work full-time jobs. This team from a different high school used online collaboration software to trade ideas and drawings. Our team has, or is currently using Windchill, um, MathCAD, and ProE. Um, Windchill has been great for us. We've been able to upload all of our projects, all of our work we've done, um, our business plans, our CAD drawings, all up onto Windchill. And so people at home can pull up the things, make adjustments to them, put them back, and all that good stuff. James is one of 30 teammates on Rosie Robotics. This is the team's design in the online collaboration software. But the use of the software isn't just limited to them. PTC, the developers of Windchill, say that 20% of teams across the competition use the software to share designs. Rosie Robotics placed in the top half of the regional competition and will be continuing on to the national championship. First represents for inspiration and recognition of science and technology and was founded by Segway inventor Dean Kamen in 1989. So we think we should be celebrating some of the heroes of technology, the heroes of science, and we bring those heroes here. Some of the judges that we have are luminaries in their own right. Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple Computer. Bob Metcalf, the inventor of the Ethernet. Colin Engel, CEO of iRobot. So we bring some really great folks that judge these kids, and these kids look up to that, and they get excited that they get cheered on by them, they get excited that the public comes and cheers them on, just as it does any other sport event.